of Preschoolers. It's Teacher Sue from the Raccoon Room, and I want to read you one of our favorite books from the classroom this year. This book is The Three Little Pigs by Mara Alperin and illustrated by Egg Jetkowska. There were once three little pigs named Horace, Boris, and Percy who lived together in a teeny tiny cottage in the forest. One day, Mommy Pig said, you're all too big to live here, so you must go and build houses of your own. But beware of the big bad wolf. Take care, your houses are safe and strong. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf, chuckled Horace. Not me, giggled Boris. And so the three little pigs set off. Before long, they reached a large field. I'll build my house right here out of straw. Horace cheered. Straw, are you sure? asked Percy. Oh, yes, Horace said. Then it's playtime for me. And with a pat, 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 and a hip, hip, hey, Horace built a house of straw. Soon after, Boris and Percy reached the edge of the woods. I'll build my house right here out of sticks, Horace squealed excitedly. Then I can go and play with Horace. Sticks, is that wise? asked Percy. It's perfect, Boris said. With a stack, 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 and a tra-la-la, Boris built a house of sticks. All afternoon, Horace and Boris laughed and danced. They had quite forgotten their mother's warning. Yippee! Do you remember their mother's warning? Hmm. But Percy plodded on. I want my house to be safe and strong, he thought. Then he came to a brickyard. This is just what I need, he said. So day after day, Percy worked with a rumbly bump and a tip, tip, tap and a heave ho until at last his brick house stood tall and proud. The summer passed. Then one day, Horace was taking a lovely bubbly bath in his little straw house when he heard something growling. He peeped out of the window and saw two big beady eyes. <gasps> By my snout, cried Horace, it was the big bad wolf. The little pig, little pig, let me in, bellowed the wolf. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin, yelled Horace. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, cried the wolf. And he huffed and he puffed and whoosh, Horace's house blew down, down, down. Horace yelped and scurried all the way to Boris's house of sticks. Look out, he cried, diving behind the sofa. There in the window were big, beady eyes and sharp, pointy claws. It's the big, bad wolf, Boris chattered. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, roared the wolf. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins, trembled Boris. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And so the wolf huffed and he puffed and crash. Boris's house clattered down, down, down. Horace and Boris squealed and galloped all the way to Percy's house of bricks. Look out, they shouted. And Percy saw big beady eyes, sharp pointy claws and truly terrible teeth. It's the big bad wolf, he cried. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, howled the wolf. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins, shouted Percy. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And so the wolf huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. But Percy's brick house stayed up. The big bad wolf couldn't believe his whiskers. I'm the big bad wolf, he howled. No tasty little pigs ever get away from me. 
Oh, help, shivered Horace. He's on the roof. Well, well, what shall we do, asked Boris. Quick, I have an idea, whispered Percy. Yum, 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 here I come, laughed the wolf, and he slid down the chimney. Right into a giant pot of boiling water. Ow, 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 screamed the wolf, burning his bottom. Then he leaped up from the pot and ran away as fast as he could. After that, the three little pigs never saw the wolf again. And with help from Percy, they built one big, strong house where they could all live together. Thanks for listening.